here from awesomejuice.com and it's pretty early where I am and just check the time it's 5 47 a.m. and I'm on my way to the gym and I'm like just like thinking about you know going to the gym this early and when people ask me man where are you going so in the morning I'm like I'm going to the gym can I join I mean you can but you will need to dedication you will need this you will need that so on and so forth and you know it's like hard work that you can sustain in and do that for uh for uh, you know that period of time or for some for some period of time I'm doing this for years and uh, immediately I I you know connected the two with programming and game development because people always ask me you know what do you do I'm a, I'm a game developer oh cool it's such cool man it's your game developer so on and so forth I want to be like you I mean you can but it will take hard work and dedication to what you are doing. If you are, if you're on my email list and you are receiving emails from me, you will see that lately I've been sending motivational emails and talking about, you know, how to sustain and, and work hard and so on and so forth. And the reason for that is because you will need it. You will need it. You know, it's not like, okay, start learning and tomorrow you'll be a game developer. No. Or start learning and in a week you will learn how to program. No. It will take a little bit of time. It will take a month or two or three or four months for you to figure out how everything is working and for you to, you know, get a grasp how everything is going because people come to me, man, I want to I wanna be like you. I want to learn game development, blah, blah, blah. But then, you know, after a week, oh, I, I tried, but I, I could not figure out. So, so I quit. No, no, that's not how things go. You know, for me, and I talk about this in my emails, I talk about it in my messages in a couple of videos that I published, it took me nine months to figure out things, uh, how everything works. So nine months just to figure out how everything works. And after that, I try to learn how to build apps, how to build this, how to build that. I'm not talking about learning how to build an application afterwards, but nine months to figure out object-oriented programming, how to figure out this, how to figure out that. So yeah, it will take hard work and dedication and people are just want to learn everything you know like right away it's not possible it's not possible really and uh, my advice my advice is that you should be consistent consistency is very important when it comes to game development and when it comes to learning how to code so it's really important that you be consistent what do I mean by being consistent well I mean that it is better for you to learn and practice one hour every day, like, but every day, dedicate yourself every day, one hour. Look, I'm going to the gym. I'm like, I'm going every day, five or four times per week. That's my schedule. So every day for one hour, it is better than if you just take seven hours and practice for one day. So seven hours just practicing for one day is not going to do it. That consistency is what will bring you to where you want to be. And as I said, it's better than if you just, you know, take one day and you're like, okay, I'm for the six days of this week, I'm not going to do anything. But then the last day I'm going to take all seven hours and I'm going to practice. No, 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 that's not how it works. It is better that you do it one hour per one day and be consistent. So be consistent. Do do that consistently because that is what will bring you to your goal same as with me I'm, I'm going every day to the gym i know it's hard it's in the morning i woke up like half an hour ago and i didn't eat so on and so forth but this is how it goes this is how it goes this is how you need to do it this is just how you need to do it and this is how things go uh, and these advices I know, I know some people are like, you know, you're sending motivational emails in, uh, uh, to, your, to your list, blah, 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 but we want to learn programming and so on and so forth. Now, this is something that nobody talks about. When I started out to learn how to code and how to make games, you didn't have nobody talking about what it takes to actually learn how to code and make games. Nobody talking about that you need to sacrifice yourself. Nobody talking about that you actually need to dedicate your time to that and it will be hard. Maybe you will not figure things out in the first month or in the second month or in the third month. But you need to, you need to be persistent. You need to try and be there and don't, you know, don't quit because if you quit, then, then you did not do anything. And back when I started out and I tried to learn how to code and make games, you didn't have nobody 
that will tell you all of these things that I, even if you wanted to pay somebody, even if you wanted to try and find somebody, okay, here's money. I'm going to give you money. Just give me advice. How You could not find anybody. You could not find nobody to do that stuff. So yeah, consistency is the key and doing hard work and being dedicated is the key and it will eventually get you to the point where you want to be because I get a lot of replies to my emails that I send out. I'm. It's like, Oh, I'm trying to learn the code and I've been trying for months, for two months. And, and you know, I, I'm just not there. I still don't understand what is going on. I can't, I cannot, you know, I cannot figure out how things are working. Maybe this is not for me. Oh, I feel dumb. I, maybe I need to learn math and so on. And so on. No, no. If things, I always say, if things are hard, you are going in the right direction because if it's easy, then anybody will do it. You know, if it's easy, then all everybody in the world will be a game developer, would be a programmer, a game designer. But no, 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 that road is not for everybody. That road it is for people like you, for people who want to learn, for people who have a dream, for people who, who have in their head a game already created, but they just need to put that in in a game engine and make it available to the world. So yeah, if you are consistent, if you do work and practice every day, but like every day, and I'm like, you need to practice one, 10 hours. No, one hour, two hours, it's enough. I mean, is it better, is it better, you tell me, is it better that you go outside on a cup of coffee and I say a cup of coffee, but it's actually four hours of conversation with your friends, four hours of mentioning other people like he did that, he did that, uh, okay, uh, this guy did that. Is it better for you to go one hour with them and use the other four hours and practice or just waste four hours of, of your time? You know, because time is precious. All we have is time. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely dedicate yourself to this. Uh, try to put at least one hour per day to practice and learn. If you can do more, that's even better. But every day, you know, like every day, you know, say I'm going to the gym like every day, as I already said. And when people ask me, can I go with you? I'm like, okay, you can, no problem. I have the key to the gym and, and, and I have access, but, but, uh, you need to be consistent. Oh, and people are like, oh yes, I'm going to be consistent. And they come for two days, three days and bam, they are not there anymore because it's hard to wake up 5 a.m. every morning. It's hard to wake up and then dress up 5 a.m. in the morning and then go to the gym like I'm doing. I mean, like, you know, so you see, still, it's dark where I am. You see, it's like, it's dark still, you know. I, I'm in my car, it's warm, and yeah. So, definitely, definitely. Hey, Chacon Dorodo, I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing this right. I, I'm, this is my first time doing this, so I don't know where the chat is or if anybody is typing, but I see somebody has typed out nice. Uh, anyways, this was my two cents. You just need to be persistent, need to be persistent. And as I said, at least dedicate one hour per day, practice every day. It is better than if you, how many years do you have developing video games? Uh, developing video games, I have like uh, four years now. So it's four years developing video games. I've created probably a bunch of them, like 10 or 15, worked on 50 projects or so, published a couple of my own video games on on, uh, on Google App Store, so on and so forth. But I will talk about that in another video. Anyways, uh, I gotta get going. I'm driving now currently, which is, well, not safe. Don't, don't, you're following me with programming, but do not follow me. Do not follow me in my driving skills because I'm driving and talking to you. Anyways, uh, anyways, my two cents for this video was that you should dedicate yourself. Just dedicate yourself and and uh, at least one hour, at least one hour. Do you know Aldasher? <laughs> no. Uh, anyways, uh, as I said, just dedicate yourself to to programming at least one hour per day. At least one hour per day, you should try to program, try to learn because this is how you will get to your goal. Anyways, uh, guys, Fahir here from awesometudes.com. Let me know if you want more of these videos. I really enjoyed it. This is my first time going live and it was pretty nice. And, and next time I'm hoping that I should interact with you guys. And I'm, I'm currently parking. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you're noticing this, but I'm currently parking. Anyways, uh, anyways thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, that is that. See ya, guys.